Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am Babyface P and today my new baby is Id and I am very, very excited to show this off. This is my Spectre DR, my Elkan Spectre DR. Um, I had one of these for a good while. Back when I worked at a gun shop, I picked one up uh, at wholesale and had it and loved it. Marley ended up going to nursing school. We need a little bit of extra money, so things like this always seem to go first. So I sold it off. Um, one of them popped up on ARFCOM on the, the use section of the site, and I couldn't help myself. I picked it up and told Marley she had to let me. So, what is it? Uh, for anybody that's not aware, I know a lot of you guys, there's no way you're not aware of what these are. They're so prolific in the video game sphere, in the shooting world. They're, they're, uh, they're not common because of their price, but they're very, very well known. It's one to four optic. So, on the side, and I'll roll in some video. There is just a little lever here. You push it down and forward to go to four zoom, down and backwards to go to one zoom. Um, really simple. A lot of people find themselves when they have a one to four or one to six, either going to six or going to one. You very seldom really need to go to three or four, five in between. Um, so that makes it simple. You want to shoot out to 200, four. You want to be uh, CQB ready, one. Uh, it does come red dot ready, uh, let's call it that. So you would, uh, it is uh, illuminated on the top, six illumination settings, bringing it all the way up to absolutely, insanely daytime bright, very, very bright. Six illuminations on the bottom, which are not as bright, that illuminate uh, the crosshairs on the inside. Um, they are uh, in, uh, night vision compatible, especially the crosshair I hear works very well under, under nods. Don't have a pair yet, but eventually I'll get there. Um, what else, what else, what else? Very heavy, people complain that this thing is super, super heavy, and they're not wrong. It's 22, almost 23 ounces, which is a heavy optic. But, as again, I'll run the numbers in for you when you compare this, which is a one to four and a base all in one, 23 ounces, to say an ACOG with a red dot and a base, uh, you're talking, those are going to be right in the same ballpark. 21 to 24 ounces, all of them. Uh, Razor HDs with a, or with a mount, all the same. So when people compare it saying it's super, super heavy, check out what they're running with a mount, and most likely it's probably going to be the same weight. Uh, what else? Um, make sure you're in focus. I'm moving it around a lot. Uh, this one does come with arm mounts. Mine, since it was used, somebody actually upgraded to the newer version of the arms mounts. So you can see there, these are the brand new style arms mounts, well, within the last couple years, which allow you to tension the uh, the knobs a little bit better for uh, better tensioning on your pick rail. What else comes with, uh, reds, um, comes with back of iron sights on the top. They are smaller than most pistol sights, so just expect that. It's not gonna be the best backup irons you've ever had, but in a pinch, eh, you got them. It's better than nothing, right? Uh, you can mount a red dot here, so if you go and pick up the uh, mount that I believe um, Armament Corp is the name. No, it's uh, whoever, the, whatever the name of their group is. Armament Technology. Uh, Armament Technology. Um, they make a mount you put up here. You can do either the Doctor Optic, the MDS Micro Red M MDR. Uh, they're they're making a brand new. Uh, Elcan makes a new one called MDR, I think. Or a lot of people what they run is a Trigicon RMR because they're great. So you could do that if you wanted to. Uh, you are gonna add weight. <clears throat> Beyond that, external adjustments. That's another big complaint. Let me bring it up again. It has external adjustments. So you unlock it <clears throat> right there. That little tab, it's not focused on it. Hold on. <clears throat> that little tab right there. Um, you unlock and then you can turn this side to side to change your elevation. Uh, I think it's half MOA clicks and then you lock it back. Front knob here is your windage, left to right. Very simple. Um, there is a video out of somebody dropping theirs. Aaron, the guy's name is Aaron and he runs one of the big YouTube channels and I can't think of the name of the channel, but you guys will know exactly who I'm talking about if you're watching this. Um, he dropped his Elcan on a rifle off of bal second story balcony into the dirt six, seven, eight times, like you would expect a military person to do. And it didn't lose uh, shift. It didn't shift hardly at all. You're going to be fine. Don't worry about it. People like to complain about things that 
don't affect them. So don't worry about that. This has not been sighted in yet. So let me go ahead and get this mounted up to my AR and we will work on sighting it in, see what we can do. All right. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Uh, a couple extra things to note. This is the older 2010, this one was made in 2010, older style, which uses the one third in battery. Um, they changed that out probably 2015, 2016. They started rolling out the newer version, which uses CR2032s. Um, if you end up buying one and you want to know, grab the serial number on the side, call up Elcan. They will tell you when it was made and if you have the older or the newer. This can be upgraded. They told me 250 bucks. I could send it in and have it moved over to 2032. I can buy a whole lot of batteries for 250 bucks. So don't know if I'll ever do that. We'll see. Let's see where we are hitting. All right, let me put some ears on too, because I don't want to be deaf. So how do you zoom, do you, how do you do this? You zoom to 4X, you take your shot, and then you move from there. Let's see. Shooting. Low right is where we're hitting. Yeah, low right. All right, let's make some adjustments and try again. That is right on. One more click. There we go. Now, it should be directly on. Let's sit here. go out to distance. Right on. All right, just like that. For anybody that's not aware, best way to zero one of these, get yourself a lead sled. These are well worth the money. Take a shot, center your optic back where it was, and then move your reticle to where the shot is, and you're zero. Just like that. Super, super easy. You don't have to take a shot. Take three rounds. Try move. Take two rounds, move. Now, take a round, move your reticle, you're on. Super, super simple. So let's go do a little shooting with it at 1x. I also got to get you guys behind this so I can show you the reticle. Um, but, be, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we can do that real quick before we go out there. All right. all right, let's see what we can get done here. Just a couple rounds. I'm being shy on ammo. You all know why. So let's see what we can do. Just quick up. Let's put it back to 1x and just treat it like a red dot. It is right on. That's it. There you go. Elkan Spectre DR. This thing's awesome. If you guys get the money, so I know it's expensive. If you have your heart set on one and you can find the put the money together and do it, you really, really won't be disappointed. All right, folks. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. We got lots more content coming. We're growing. We just hit 25,000 subs. Really awesome. Um, if you know somebody out there that likes gun stuff, share this with them. We need more subscribers. I don't know why. I just want to get more famous. That's why, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'll catch you guys next Monday on the next one. See ya. Oh.